Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is uh, set steps per unit. Uh, I'm going to start with the x-axis. Um, yeah, and I'd probably be better off using one, two, three blocks and uh, attached right to the to the bed. But uh, this is what I have now. Uh, I think the critical thing, as long as the point that it's touching doesn't move, so I've got it clamped down. Good. It's a really smooth surface uh, on there. So, um, all right. So the first thing I'm going to do is over here. I've got it so it's almost touching the uh, the block there. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, switch it over to uh, step mode and then start stepping it over until it just barely touches okay it just touched um, right now we're at uh, one thou uh, past. So what I'm going to do is keep that one thou in the... Uh, I tried zeroing it out before, but it's like the thing keeps moving or something. Um, when I try to adjust the dial, it's only a $15 dial, so... So I'm just going to keep the one thou uh, in mind. And then I'm going to go over to Mach 3 here. And we're going to go over to settings and go set, set steps per unit, uh, x-axis, and we're going to tell it to move one inch, and then click OK. Now over here... We can see that it moved. Uh, nearly about two thou short, or two and a tenth, or something. We'll just call it two, but we got to keep that other one thou in mind. So we'll just call it uh, uh, three thou short. So, so it's three thousand short of an inch. So, in here we're gonna enter. I'm gonna enter point nine nine seven because uh, it's uh, three thousand short, and we'll click OK, and it's gonna change the setting to. 2006 point and a bunch of other numbers would you like to accept I'll click select yes and it's been set and now we're going to confirm it by doing the same thing again and I'll be right back okay I set it up again I touched off and I'm about uh, a hair over a thou maybe a how a thou and two tenths or something like that uh, so I'm going to go into Mach 3 and go to, into settings again and set steps per unit, x-axis, click OK, uh, enter 1 again, let it move, and this time we have 0, um, one inch and one thou so that's uh, probably within uh, two tenths of a thousand or something like that uh... just say it's uh... definitely uh, within a thou so under a thou so i think that's uh, probably probably pretty good enough so the uh... on my particular setup uh, I will just enter that as one that's close enough. And it's going to set it at uh, 
point zero one and a bunch of numbers uh, steps per unit. So I'm going to select yes and then click, click OK. And that's uh, basically setting steps per unit uh, accurately uh, on the x-axis. Now I just have to do the uh, the other two axes and uh, we'll be done with the steps per unit. Okay, for the y-axis uh, steps per unit, the calibration, um, I just uh, basically attach the magnetic base uh, straight to the uh, to the column. I cleaned it off, attached it to the column, and um, arranged the vise and the block and all this uh, so that uh, it'll indicate when it moves in the uh, y travel. And uh, I already showed in the x on on the rest of it, so I'll just uh, leave it at that. Okay, on the z-axis, I actually attached the mag base to the uh, to the table, and I've turned the dial indicator upside down, and I'm gonna indic I'm gonna do it right off the very lip. Very edge of the uh, the quill there, not too far in that it uh, hits the uh, uh, hits the collet. But, uh, and I'm actually gonna have to do this uh, backwards. I'm actually gonna set it down to one inch because it's actually gonna go up. Um, so that's how I'm gonna do it that way. All right. Okay, well, I was having trouble doing it the, the reverse method. Um, so what I've done is, I'm doing it the same way I did it before, but I'm temporarily telling the uh, z-axis that it's uh, backwards. Okay, so with the z-axis uh, being told that it's backwards, and I have it touching on there, and it's uh, one thou past, uh, so if it was set properly, I haven't calibrated it totally yet, if it was set properly, calibrated properly, it would go to, uh, just, uh, one inch and then a thou over one inch, so. Right, let me, uh, go to pick axis, axis, uh, Z, tell it to go one inch, and it goes down. Let's see what we're reading here. Looks like we are pretty close. Um, looks like... Uh, it's uh, one inch and maybe uh, one, two and... Two and... Uh, Nearly three, maybe uh, two, ten, two ten thousandths. So I'll just enter that as uh, two over, or uh, one inch and uh, two thousandths. All right. Okay, so I've got it set up to uh, retest it. I'm just a hair over one thou right now. And uh, I'll enter one inch and click OK. And it's reading one exactly uh, one inch right now. So, I don't know, we're still off about a foul. Um, so, me, uh, let me enter that in there and uh, see if we can get a little closer. All right, I got it perfect that time. Um, you can see I had it. Yeah, there we go. Um, uh, I had it at one thou over, and I hit it, hit one inch, and it went to one inch and one thou over, so. Alright, so the Z is, uh, 
perfect, or at least within, you know, uh, uh, a half a thou or so. All right.